Initials HS from Ontario, Canada. Assalamu alaikum Sheikh. Jazakallah khair for your efforts. In a video, in a video you mentioned it is problematic to refer to Allah as God. Can you please explain why? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan. Ameen. We never said that it's absolutely problematic to refer to Allah as God. Absolutely. Never said that. If you listen to the video carefully, you clearly see that there are times in which it is problematic and there are times in which it's permissible. I would say first and foremost, my humble opinion, from the times in which it may be problematic is when Muslims use that term to appease non-Muslims, to appease them and to try to get close to them and to try to you know, soften the hardcore concepts of Islam. Everybody understand this? When you talk to a Buddhist, what do they say? What is the Buddhist monk or priest? What does he say? Does he say, God, God bless you? You're not a Buddhist. He's a Buddhist. But he, he huh? Clearly says, Buddha bless you. He speaks what he believes in. Everybody understand this? He doesn't try to what? Huh? Everybody clear on this? Allah is God without a question. There's no doubt about that. No one is different on that. But the concept of just just trying to get too close to the kuffar by saying things and wording things how they want it to be said and worded. Everybody understand this? It's a very important concept. Allah is God. No question about that. But you can't just go on and live the whole entire life, religion, and every God, 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 God. No. Because the Quran and the Sunnah says Allah. And it is not the translation of God. Who Allah. Al-Ilah. The deity. God. It's a different story. So that's the first problem. And this, this concept of trying to appease the kuffar and trying not to stand out and try not to you know, be on their bad side has many manifestations. Regardless whether the act is haram or not, but it has manifestations. Whether it's your name, how you dress, and the list goes on. You want to wear pants and shirt, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. It's not haram. And no one is ever saying that you have to wear a thobe. I'm not saying that. Others may. It's not mandatory to have a kufi on. But you take off your thobe or your kufi just so you can fit in with the kuffar and not be looked down upon and not be harassed and this and that. That's problematic. You say, may God bless you to someone who doesn't know anything about Islam. A common term that they can come to. La bas. kitab. Allah says, oh, be of the book. Allah says, what? Come to a word that we can both agree on. La bas. But you say it just so they won't look at you as this and that, extremist, terrorist, Muslim, fundamentalist. Then that's what? Problem. problem. That's what? That's extremely problematic. Everybody understand this? So that's, that's first and foremost. And there are many other manifestations as well. Moving forward, the concept of making gods plural, gods, god, goddess. Everybody understand that can be sometimes what? Problematic. Allah is Allah. Huh? Everybody, sometimes that can be what? Problematic. Let alone just the concept of sometimes when you come close, too close to that which is traditional orthodox, it doesn't make a difference. And they think that it's all the same. And sometimes you say, Allah, assalamu alaikum. You say, marhaba. What does that mean? Why can't you just say hello? You'll find many non-Muslims, they'll become interested and intrigued by certain Arabic words and terms. There's no question about that. Everybody understand this? And sometimes that's what's needed to bring people's attention to Islam. But if you always say God, God, they think, oh, that's just Christianity. I believe in God. He believes in God. We're all believers. And many people, they say this. We just have different highways going to the same city. You say Christianity. I say Islam. He says being a Jew. He says being a Jedi is a religion. It's a religion. Jediism is a religion. 2011 was the most common religion in Canada through census. Everybody understand this? He says this, he says that. So we're all doing the same thing. We're all worshiping one God. We just want to be good people. And that's inexplicit and that's vague and misleading. Everybody understand this? And there lies no doubt. In most cases, it all goes back to the first reason, dunya. Why are Muslims reinterpreting the Quran? Why are Muslims taking this out of their textbooks? Why we have fatwas? You don't have to grow a beard. It's not mandatory. It's bad, it's not haram. Have your pants beneath your ankles. A woman doesn't have to cover her, fans in the, her hands in her face. It's not haram to do this. It's not haram to check women. They're doing all of this stuff and saying this, not because they actually believe it off of fiqh 
and the different legitimate views and things to get closer to the kuffar and to whitewash and to strip down and secularize Islam to the best way that they can. And to transform Islam, what happened to the Jews and the Christians? Totally nominal. I'm a conservative Jew. That's it. Beard, pants, food, kosher, this, that. No. I'm a conservative Christian. I go to church if once on Sunday. That's it. This is what they want Islam to be. Why they have to be allowed? To get closer to the kuffar. Afraid of the kuffar. Scared of the kuffar. Want to fit in with the kuffar. Want to be like the kuffar. It has no doubt. If you are a faqih, and you believe from the text of the kitab, of the sunnah, that a woman doesn't have to cover her hands and her face, that's fine. That's a legitimate view. But if you're saying that a woman doesn't have to cover her, she doesn't have to cover her hands and her face just for her not to stick out like a sore thumb with a niqab on, then that's a problem. And it lies no doubt. The niqab in certain areas is going to stick out like a what? Sore thumb. Some kufar, they'll accept the kimar along kimar. Even that is sticking out like a sore thumb. But in the niqab, gloves? No, that's Wahhabi Islam. That's ISIS, ISIL, no doubt, extremists. She doesn't have to cover her hands and her face. Not because of the delil, but because of what? And the same applies to the beard and any other issue of Islam. And that is dangerous. And it's one of the most dangerous things that has happened and is happening to Islam today. Is this watering down of the religion from the inside. And we're not talking about actually believing opinion to be valid. That's a different story. You actually feel that way. But we're talking about doing it for the consideration of the what? Of the kuffar. Wa'ala'iyyadu billah. Wallahu alam.